This is the MSP practice test part two and we're going to start with problem number one. And in problem number one we're going to look at some geometry terms. Complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees and so we're going to identify some pairs of complementary angles and the way we're going to mark those in this case is using three letters to represent an angle. So in this case this angle F OE, which is 38 degrees, and the one next to it, these two together would add up to 90 degrees. You can see this little symbol in the corner, that symbol actually represents a 90 degree angle, and so if that one's 90 degrees, then this other part has to be 90 degrees because this whole line, this whole angle would be 180 degrees right here. If we were to put a protractor on there, we could see that that angle measures 180. So what's in here would have to be the rest of this adding up to 90 degrees and again that makes them complementary so we could put those two together and the way you would write that is you would write angle with this little symbol angle F O E those three letters the F the O then the E and the one that it's supplementary or complementary to is A OF or FOA. You can put them either way as long as the vertex, the middle point on the angle, is also the middle letter. So I'm actually going to go FOA. Those two angles are complementary because together they add up to 90 degrees. And again, you can see that by the having this symbol here, and then those two together have to add up to a straight line. So the rest of that angle there, which we could actually figure out if this one's 38 and together they make 90 degrees, then this one would have to be 52 degrees in order for that to be true. So we even know the measure of the angle there as a result of that. And there is another pair of complementary angles, these two right here, so I could have actually listed either those two or this pair right here. These two angles are also complementary because together they would also have to add up to 90 degrees. And, and that's partly because these two angles are vertical angles. They're opposite each other and so they are the same size and so are these two for 52 degrees. So angle DOC or and in this case angle EOB are also complementary angles in this set. So you have this set or this set that are complementary angles. Now supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees and you don't always have to have just a pair of angles to do that but there are a number of angles here that we can use. I know this one's 90 because that one's 90. A O B is 90 so E O D is also 90 degrees and they're vertical angles. So we have a whole bunch of angles here we could list for supplementary angles. I'm just going to list a few sets like A, O, and B. So angle A, O, B, and angle E, O, D. Those are supplementary angles. Together they add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to put a little note here, 180 degrees and these add up to 90 degrees, the complementary ones. So complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. I can actually use a set of three angles if I want to, to add up to 180 degrees. So let's just go ahead and do one of those examples as well. So I can take angle E, O, F, and angle F, O, A, and angle A, O, B. So together those three are supplementary. The three together will add up to 180 degrees. And there's several of the pairs. These three right here, these three. So there's a whole bunch of pairs of supplementary angles in this picture. 
because there's a whole bunch of angles that together I could add up to 180 degrees. Now the third one listed here are called vertical angles. And vertical angles are angles that share a common vertex, which is this point in the center, and are across from each other in that they're vertical from each other. So they share a same vertex and they actually have the same size. So like this one is 52 degrees and so is this one. And here's a 90 degree and this one's 90 degrees. And this one's 38 and that one's 38. So we really have one, two, three pairs of vertical angles in this picture here. So I'm going to go ahead and list three pairs. So we have E, O, F angle, E, O, F, and then it's vertical angle to C, actually I'm going to do it this way, B, O, C, so angle B, O, so those two are vertical angles. Or we could take this pair right here, the F, O, A angle, F, O, A, is vertical to angle C, O, D, angle C, O, D, so those two. Or the third pair, these two 90 degree angles that are vertical angles, angle A, O, B, and so this one, AOB, and then DOE. are also vertical angles. So you have lots of pairs. One, two, three pairs of vertical angles. So a lot of different things and when you have angles crossing there are complementary angles that add up to 90 degrees. There are supplementary angles that add up to 180 degrees, several are examples of that. And then you also have vertical angles across from one another where lines cross. They're the same size and it's one of the ways to find these different angle measures is to know that they're vertical angles or they're complementary or they're supplementary. So those definitions help us find angle measures in those types of problems.